Good morning. It is 7 a.m. Waiting for my Uber right now. Just packing up last minute stuff from my car. Going to Hawaii today. to Kauai. We are gonna check into the wander here shortly and we just passed by. Like you can see it from a cliff. There's like this whole bay with restaurants. It looks very convenient and I'm so excited to see this house. It looks absolutely insane. Hey, okay, we are pulling up. I can't wait to go inside. This is the craziest house we're ever gonna stay in and I go in a lot of houses you guys. My gosh. wander kawaii cliffs this will be my third time staying in a wander property every time i'm like this is the coolest house i've ever stayed in nothing will ever top this and this one definitely takes the cake i'm excited to give you guys a tour and show you my weekend here with my friends let's go opens up to a courtyard here. You can hear all the kawaii roosters. Welcome to the living space. Check out this view. We'll get to the living space, but let's go to the view first. Oh my gosh. So we're here in Lahui. The really cool thing about this property is it's on the cliff, you get these big views, but there's actually an elevator that takes you right down to the bay. You're just steps away from restaurants, swimming, all of that. I didn't even know going into this that it'd be such close proximity to beach access. It's actually insane. I'm so excited for my friends to get here. They're gonna be here in a couple of hours. Um, so here is the main living space. We've got this huge, beautiful couch. And then we walk right into the dining room. This seats one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 people. Plus you have the four more bar top space. And that actually brings up a good point. This home actually sleeps 18 people. 18, there's seven bedrooms. It's 10,000 square feet heading into the kitchen. We really do have a beautiful chef's kitchen in here. There is a six burner cooktop, sub-zero fridge. <laughs> one bedroom on this main floor. We can't decide what is the best bedroom. So let me know in the comments what you think. This is bedroom number one. Bedroom number one opens up to this beautiful king bed. You also have your own private deck. It wraps around to a very, very spacious bathroom. Look at this. Look at this. You have three shower heads dual sink that kind of wraps around here. You also have your own separate laundry room. When I walked in, I was like, this is gonna be my room. But wait, now you gotta see the next room. Now we're gonna head upstairs where we have one bedroom. All right, we'll call this bedroom number two. And I really do think this is my favorite bedroom. I think this is where I'm gonna stay. You've got this beautiful bedroom and this private deck is really, really nice. It's a little bit bigger. It's got these wonderful lounge chairs. I actually have these same lounge chairs at my house, so I feel so at home already. Once again, a really large bathroom. These bathrooms are blowing my mind. Here, we also have a really large walk-in closet, and I love unpacking when I'm on vacation. Another thing to note, you have all of the Wander amenities. That's what's cool about staying at a Wander. There's consistency throughout, just the quality of how amazing the homes are, how well kept they are, and the amenities. So you can always expect some of the same touches, like the robes, the slippers, the bathroom kits. Now we're gonna head back to the main level. Back on the main level, 
we're actually gonna go up half a flight of stairs to the third and fourth bedroom. Again, this is gonna be a king size bed. We've also got this really nice little reading nook alcove area. And this bedroom, what makes it a little bit different is it's actually Jack and Jill style. So here we've got same amazing bathrooms. And then in here, this room is so cute to me. We're gonna have a queen bed and two twin beds. So that's third and fourth bedroom. Okay, now we have covered about half of the house. We've still got a lot to go. We are gonna head downstairs. Downstairs, we're gonna have our fifth bedroom. Again, you've got your own laundry room. And this bedroom, I actually think it's also a contender for one of the best rooms in the house. It's got this floor to ceiling, incredible picture window. Being one floor down, you feel like you're right at the water level. We also have a little sitting area here. And once again, your own private deck. We're also gonna have the classic Wander workstations that you can expect. Part of the Wander brand, their mission was to make it so you can go on vacation and you don't have to work from the dining room table. So you can always expect great workstations, state-of-the-art setup so that you can get any work done that you need to do. Hopefully you don't have to do too much on vacation. You're gonna have a really huge walk-in closet. This bathroom, guys, has the most amazing tub. You know, this bathroom's a little more romantic. Fun fact, two of my friends coming on this trip, it's actually their honeymoon. So I think we're gonna save this room for them. I feel so old saying that. I have friends on their honeymoon. It's kind of crazy. Now, again, on this floor, it kind of turns into like its own house because it has its whole own living space. And then it actually then turns into like its own separate ADU apartment. So we're now entering that. And down here, you're gonna have two more bedrooms, both with king beds and their own bathrooms. That is the house. Also, I'm doing a giveaway with Wander. So if you go to wander.com slash Monica Church, the link will be below. You can enter to win a two night luxury stay. You could stay here or check out any of their other incredible properties. And if you are the winner, you will be contacted by hello at wander.com. So you'll wanna check your email for that. If you love scrolling through Redfin or Zillow, looking at houses online, get the Wander app because they have the coolest collection of homes curated that you can browse through even just for fun hopefully you and your friends can book a trip there's so many amazing properties there's a golf course which i love right next to the house we just walked like 500 feet and there's just this is the ocean course let's peek around the corners anyone yep there's people that are gonna play i don't want to get hit heading down to the beach you actually you go about 200 feet outside of the property and there's a public elevator. Okay. Oh, it's here. Okay, here we are. Right down at the beach. Oh, guys, and check it out. I'll show you the house from where we just were. There it is. Do you see it? It's like the biggest one on the whole cliff. It's crazy how lucky we are to stay there. I turned my dress into a skirt. The sun is setting. Oh my gosh. ocean course we're literally walking to it it's that close Alright, the 
is a par four. I got kind of lucky. I am on the green in two. I have a birdie putt. Hopefully I'll at least get a par. This is the hole that's right by the house, by the way. You could walk back to the house in a matter of like 90 seconds. It's so crazy. This is right here. It didn't go so well, you know? Walking to dinner. What did Eight. we do today? Played 36 holes of golf. We golf from 7.30 <laughs> to 3.45. It was so fun. You gotta, you gotta swirl This one is like the best Mai Tai I've ever had. Did you guys think it was That's a really good Mai Tai. We have our tennis bay leading us. sardines because this house is so big and naturally my first thought is to what if I hide in one of these cabinets oh that's too obvious too okay I think usually when I play this game when I play sardines I like to hide literally just behind a doorway because usually people they come in and they It is our last day here. It's seriously flown by. Yesterday we just had kind of a lazy beach day. In fact, like I haven't done any adventurous things the whole time I'm here. So excited today we have to. So we are doing the Nepali Coast Zodiac Graph tour. I'm getting a phone call from Shelby. Hey girl. Hey, hey, I can't find my swimsuit anywhere. Do you want to wear one of mine? Film on my phone maybe a little bit, but not trying to like drop my camera in the ocean today. It's really fun though. I did this five years ago, last time I was here. And I just remember it was like the most amazing time. But I also remember it was a little bit uncomfortable. Like it's a long journey. It's like a five hour excursion. And you're like holding on for your life on the t edge of this boat. I was hesitant to book it because I was like, wait, is my memory just telling me I liked it? But in the moment I was miserable. I think there was like a tad bit, just a tad bit of misery involved, but it was also super fun and worth it. guys we're heading out soaking in this view one last time oh it was so perfect such a perfect house location situation by the way the game of sardines last night oh it's so nice that we have dogs at home so we get to like look forward to seeing them well guys where shall we wander next seriously thanks to wander for this incredible trip 
you want to stay in this house, I would truly recommend it. Download the Wander app, head to their website. When you split it with your friends, which you can do in the app, it actually, it, it makes it like the same price as staying in a hotel anywhere, yet you get this incredible experience with your friends instead. Next, I would love to check out all the Napa wanders. They look so amazing. Maybe I'll go to those next.